Hi, my name is Ali Kadri. I am the CEO of Islamic College of Brisbane and a member of Cohesive Communities Council. So the hate crime has a wider impact than the individual it, who is a victim of it. It has an impact on the society, it has an impact on the family, and it creates a sense of fear once you face a hate crime, which I did with my family in South Bank Parklands while we were having a picnic. Uh, from that time onwards, my six-year-old niece is afraid to go back to the Parklands because she's afraid that that kind of incident may repeat. Most people don't want to report these incidents because of the fear of repercussions or in most cases because they feel that there's not going to be much done after that. And that is mainly because we don't have enough legislative protections for people who are victims of hate crime. For the first time, the communities of Queensland have come together to ask for a change in our legislation to identify hate crimes for what it is. It is now a message to you and community members to come out and express your opinions, express what you have faced, whether it's, fa it's verbal vilification, if it's physical vilification, you need to come out now and speak to the parliamentary inquiry into hate crime and make your submission. This submission will help us make better and safer Queensland. Our culturally diverse communities need to be heard. Your voice is powerful. Your stories will compel politicians to act more than any facts or figures will. Take advantage of this opportunity to share your experience and help create safer laws and protections. We can change the system, but to do it, we're going to need your stories to change it.